Yeah, I started the uh, BSA because about uh, five years ago there was a fire in uh, Coney Island. It was started by a 13 year old African American uh, kid at the time. His name was Marcel Dockery. And two, fire fi uh, two police officers responded to the fire and uh, they got off on the 12th floor and they were, you know, they, they were hit with smoke. And one of the officers died about three days later. And when the police officers found out who did it, the detectives, they found out it was a 13 year old black kid. And they asked the kid, why'd you do it? And the kid said, I was bored. I didn't mean for the whole fire to come. Just for a second, just because I was bored. Like, and just wanted something to do instead of sitting in the hallway. So I was just blown away that this officer was dead because, it did, you know, this kid was bored. And it's stories like that that I hear that I'm like, I gotta keep these kids busy because nobody else will, you know? I mean, you got these parents out there that, you know, work, you know, two jobs and they don't have time with the kids. So, and that's where I come in. I had moved here 15 years ago and I had just stopped skateboarding. My body was breaking down, I couldn't do 360 flips down steps, I barely could ollie. So I was dating a girl at the time and we were walking down on Beach 90th Street down there mm -hmm. and we walked up here and saw people surfing up there. And I forgot people would surf here because I used to come here as a kid. She goes, that's what you're gonna do. I said, yeah, I said, yeah you're right. She goes, I said, you know, maybe I'll pay for a lesson. She said, no. She's like, you're gonna teach yourself. And that was the best advice I ever got. So I went to the local surf shop here, I bought a crappy beater board for like 900 bucks. I, I, no, no, I'm sorry, a nine foot board for like 300 bucks. And I taught myself how to surf. I stayed away from all the good surfers. I, you know, I was cooking out by myself until I got good enough. And then I started surfing over here. And that's how I started, yeah. A week before the tragedy, I got my friend's mail by mistake, the Surfer's Journal. And in that magazine was an article on the Black Surfing Association, that the founder named Tony Corley. So I remember that I, read that magazine and I said to myself, I said, you know what, maybe I could reach out to this guy and I could, you know, start something out here. And then I reached out to him, I found him on Facebook and I explained to him about the tragedy and he said, so, so what do you want to do? I said, you know, maybe we'll do free surf lessons, skate lessons, we'll see what happens. I mean, what Lou's doing for the kids is awesome. What he's doing for the whole Rockaway community is amazing. Um, you know, it's Black Surf Association, but it's everybody's welcome. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't doing so great, we wouldn't, you know, drive an hour out here just to, you know, be in the water for a little bit. So mm -hmm. I, we really appreciate what he's doing. Killing it, yeah. Not bad, right? Not bad at all, yeah. Yeah, so awesome. they, like these, I, I picked them because I knew that they would be money. In the yeah. <laughs> you know, when when you're doing, you know, when you're doing God's work, mm -hmm. He looks out for you. And when you do it from the heart, there's some people that do it to hey, take take my picture so they so people know. I mean, the, half the stuff we do, I don't even put on Instagram because mm -hmm. people would be getting too mushy about it. Mm -hmm. But this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to give back. Doesn't matter if the kids are black, they're white, they're Asian, they're Muslim, they're gay, they're straight. Mm -hmm. Everybody deserves the opportunity to do this. So mm -hmm. yeah.